you have all these on nitro. I forgot to show you. I dumpster dove and only one dumpster today. I got these gentle steps overnight pants for girls and boys. Gonna drop them off at probably at that house. I should go there on the way home. And I'm gonna keep one box of these crackers and give two away. And I got a bag of chocolate Hershey's Kisses, but they're the like chocolate and almond, you know? I can't donate them at that place because they'll all melt. So I'll just take them to work. People, that'll be gone in two minutes. It's a pretty big bag. But my husband really don't need them. He's a diabetic. So I should check another dumpster on the way home. I go right past it. I think I'm going to check this other Dollar General. They're like not even a mile away from each other. So I'm going to check that now on the way home. And I went there this morning. Just imagine if I wouldn't have went there. It's a million degrees in Michigan. The humidity is really bad today. If I wouldn't have, that chocolate would have been all a disgrace and wouldn't have been good enough to give anybody. And there was nothing wrong with it. Just a broken bag open. But like a $78 bag of Hershey with almonds kisses now that I can give to somebody. Or cut more than multiple people at work, give everybody a handful. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, that, I got those, I'm going to keep one box of those crackers and give, i probably just do that tomorrow, give them at that, um, that house tomorrow that's in Warren that has a little pantry. I'll give them those little girls and boys pull-ups and I'll give them two boxes of those crackers. I'm going to take a box in for me and my husband and... Give, I, I was lucky enough to get free ice cream the last couple months with Kroger. Uh, I got salted caramel something of Ben & Jerry's, a pint. I wish they would just give me a free half gallon of their ice cream. Oh, my God. That uh, Ben & Jerry's is expensive. It's like $5 or whatever, and it's free, and I appreciate that. But I would rather just have... A free half gallon of their ice cream. It's three bucks. It's two ninety nine. This is what's so bad about everything. How much everything has gone up. Kroger, um, Walmart brand, great value ice cream. Just a generic, regular Walmart brand of ice cream used to be a dollar seventy eight. Look at this bush. This is that trumpet vine. It's got green, a orange horn on it. I like to get a piece of that. I, I really wouldn't. I think that's in, what's that word? I'm, I'm going off subject here. Invasive, meaning that it, it grows and it's it's hard to stop. I don't care. I love that stuff. But anyways, okay. Back to the subject. Sorry. Uh, what am I trying to say? Oh, yeah. Walmart, their brand ice cream used to be only a $1.78 a half gallon or Nothing's even a half gallon anymore, but whatever you consider close to a half gallon. Now it's two seventy-eight, two eighty-four, almost three dollars. Even Kroger a year and a half ago was instead of being two ninety-nine, three dollars a gallon, it was sometimes a dollar seventy-five, a dollar fifty a half gallon, two dollars. Everything's so much money. Everything's gone up so much, and they're saying stuff's going to go up more. I don't know, sugar or something. Things are going to go up more, like certain crops or whatever. Things are going to go up more. And come on, I can't even barely afford. Like, just that cat food alone. Okay, yeah, my indoor cats like fancy feast. It's expensive. The gravy kind, gravy lovers, I think it's called. For 30 cans, it's $26. And that don't even get them through every two weeks. Because sometimes I give them three or four cans a day. It's a little extra. But I don't want them to ever have to want for anything. Because they can't tell me like my dog never shuts up. Let him outside and he gets a trace of hotness. He's screaming out there. He's just like a little lunatic. That dog is beyond spoiled. My husband's like, he's screaming. 
I'm like, oh, Jesus and baby Jesus. I had to jump up and get him. I go, I'm like, he's hot for two seconds. I cooled him down, put cool water on him, walked him, bought him a whole chicken today. That dog is spoiled rotten. And so are the cats. I wipe my black cat's butt with those wipes. I got to go by that caddy, caddies, and take her all that men's clothes and shirts. And some of them are just regular t-shirts. Um, I feel like going to do that tomorrow. Maybe in the morning real quick because it's going to cool down in Michigan. Because I don't have no other chances. And then I could get that all out of my house. I could put it in a bunch of bags tonight and she can keep those garbage bags and they smell good and she could use those and give her the hamper too. I don't need that extra hamper. I really don't. Give her all that. Boom. Here you go, Patty. More stuff to the bed for her betterment. So I'm thinking about doing that. cousin's old street herald my cousin that just passed away the heavier set cousin i seen her daughter in kroger had to walk past her like i don't even know her and it's a shame it's a shame that she's got to be such a nasty no good person that's just pathetic i wanted to say so bad i'm so sorry about your mother and i couldn't even say anything to her because she's not a normal human that's just pathetic that's just wrong. That's so wrong. Alright, but anyways, I'm going to maybe go to a couple dumpsters in the morning real quick before I drop this stuff off to Patty. Go to a couple Dollar Generals, a couple CVS's. This is not allow that shit. Is. Nobody wants to hear your shit, freak. Look at this freak. I think she's got something so great. Nobody wants to hear your crap. Your garbage. Yeah, shut the shit off, freak. Then he turns it back on. I mean, it's so loud. It's ridiculous. Anyways, this ghetto bullshit, you know? Um, I can see if you have it a little loud and you like it fine. But he can't even, there's no way that freak can enjoy that garbage. So anyways, I don't even want to get by this freak. I'm going to roll up all my windows. I'll still be bad. Alright, well like and subscribe you guys. Come back tomorrow. Um, I'm going to check those dumpsters and probably go give stuff to Patty in Detroit. You know, the lady who doesn't have anything and has a highly autistic son. He's non-verbal, I guess you would say. So I'm trying to help as much as I possibly can. That's, that's what people need to do. Instead of, you know, attacking other people. I got somebody on here that's kind of a more famous YouTuber than me. And they're mad that I said shit about Donald Trump. It's nothing to do with being a Democrat or Republican. All I said was, he's a convicted felon. He's a rapist. Now, he was convicted in that with a court of law with peers and a woman he raped in a, in a lady's dressing room. And that's the truth. It be it all, be it all, that part's the truth. So what I was saying is, if he's allowed to run for president, this is all I'm saying. America, wake up. Then why isn't other people that have nonviolent crimes, felonies, allowed, allowed to get good jobs like work at General Motor, Ford, and Chrysler? Now, am I, am I being wrong? No. Think about what I'm saying. If he's allowed to run for president with all the shit that he's done, other people should be allowed to get a good job is what I'm saying. And these people, and they got a daughter, like, I'm not making this shit up. Oh, educate yourself. The man's a rapist. Okay, educate yourself. This lady didn't make this stuff up. 
the man raped her. He went with them. And, and you know what? All these politicians do shit. I know that. I'm not stupid. But he raped a woman. Okay? And, and that is true. Believe it or not, that shit part's true. So if you want to keep covering everything that this man's done, that's on you. But I'm not. Sorry. I just don't think it's fair for other Americans not to get an even shake if he's getting all these freaking passes in life. That's what I'm saying. That's all. It makes sense what I'm saying. All right. Have a beautiful day. Like and subscribe. And uh, I'm tired. Got our grass cut today. Look at Mary. She needs to quit trying to hunt other animals. And I think she's got babies somewhere. I don't know. She needs to go take... Go take care of your kids, Mary. Oh, she's so bad. My husband was out here today talking to her at this curb like a lunatic. Telling her to leave. She's, he goes, she's hunting birds again. She's, just, she's more trouble than any cat I've had. And she's not mine. She's a stray, but she's bad. Jumps in trunks on her house. She's, she's something else. I love you guys. See you guys tomorrow. God bless everybody. I just want everybody to get a fair shake in America. That's all I'm saying. Anybody, be it anybody. You know what I'm saying? Bye.